Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're having a good day. I wanna do another Octane tutorial, and this is gonna be about the Octane Scatter in Cinema 4D. So Scatter is basically like a cloner, but it handles clones a lot better than the Cinema 4D cloner. You can do a ton of instances, so people are doing something like this wheat field. This says it has 120,000 instances, and the viewport is still pretty responsive with that many clones. So it just handles a large volume of clones a lot better. So let's jump into Cinema 4D and let's check it out. All right, so we can get to the scatter object under plugins, under Octane and Octane Scatter. So here's our scatter and here are all of our options. So first of all, we need something to scatter. So we're gonna drop in the sphere into the scatter and then we need to specify what we're going to scatter this object onto. So we're going to scatter it onto this Coke bottle. We'll drop it right into surface here. All right, so by default, you can see it's going on to all the vertices. We're gonna change the distribution to surface. And now you can see all of your clones on the Coke bottle. Let's fire up Octane and check it out. All right, here's all of our clones. So the nice thing about scatter is the amount of clones you can have. It's kind of crazy how much you can kick this up and still have a really responsive and fast render and viewport. So it handles large amounts of clones very well. All right, so in our viewport, we can see all of these little dots. If we want to play with the display, we can change the type to say circle, just so they're a little bit more visible. We can change the color also, so you can see it a little bit better. So let's talk about how to specify where we want these clones on our object. So the first thing I'll show you is a vertex map. So if we click on our bottle and we go to our polygon mode, go to uh, character and paint tool. Let's go to our paint tool and make sure we're clicking add and let's paint where we want these clones to be. So we'll just pick a couple of random places here. And now we need to put this vertex map that was generated into our octane scatter in the vertex map slot. So we'll drag that in, we'll hit render, and there you go. Now we can specify where on our bottle we want these clones to be. So that's one way that you can do it. Another great thing about the Octane Scatter is that it works seamlessly with all of your MoGraph options. So that means that we could use, say, a plane effector. So I have this plane effector with some fall off and it's falling off and affecting the scale. So if we go to our scatter, we'll drag our plane effector into the effectors tab. And if we drag our plane effector up, you can see that it is having the fall off affect the scale and they're scaling down as it gets to the top. So it's really handy that the Octane Scatter works with all of your MoGraph effectors. It's super handy. So we're gonna turn that off now. All right, so let's talk about the scale of our different clones. There's quite a few different ways we can change that. Because we can use the um, MoGraph stuff, we could easily put in a random effector and change the scale that way. Another thing we can do is in the Octane Scatter, we could go down to our Scale tab, and we could put a shader in here, like a noise shader or a gradient or something like that. And then this uh, black and white map is going to change the scale of these guys. So you could play with your contrast, the size of this, and that will change the scale. So that's another thing that we could do. Let's clear that out. Another thing we could do is just put multiple objects inside the scatter and it will alternate between them. So if we have a few different ones in here, we can make a few different spheres of different sizes and that will also give us uh, kind of random sizes in our cloner. So just like that, we've added a bunch of clones to the bottle. Now we can delete that green. I have that uh, kind of glass material on there. And now it looks like we have really nice water droplets all over that Coke bottle. All right, that is the Octane Scatter. You can think of it basically as the Cinema 4D cloner, just with the added benefit of having a lot better performance in your viewport and rendering, and just dealing with a lot of clones quite a bit faster. So I hope that helps you guys out. As always, thank you for checking out Pixelab, and we'll talk to you next time. Ciao.